Hello everyone, happy Saturday. It is the weekend, baby, yes. I'm getting ready to um, go hang out with some girlfriends um, at one of my girlfriends' house. House, She's uh, cooking, well, she ain't cooking. We doing, we having Chinese food, cake, wine. We just gonna have a girl's day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta have a girl's day. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you all a little while, a little bit, while I put on my makeup. Uh, I have been trying to do another makeup tutorial kind of thingy thing for a while, but I always do a haul or I'm always in the car. So I figured I would come out here and do one of these for you all. I hope that you can see. I hope it's bright enough in here. Let's see. Okay. So... That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. How y'all doing today? How you doing? How was your Friday? How was your week last week? I hope you had a good week. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm getting off track. Let me find my eyebrow pencil. Hope you had a good week. Hope you had a safe week. Uh, hope something happened good to you. Something happened good. I like to hear when people are having, you know. What is my eyebrow I said I was gonna get on here and be prepared, and I really was because everything should be in here. Okay, here it is. Um, yeah, I hope you had a good week. So we gonna put this face on. I'm kind of brush these eyebrows this way. So yeah, I hope you had a good week. My week wasn't too bad. It really, really wasn't. Thank God. I thank God it wasn't too bad. Because, you know, you just never know week to week what's going to happen, right? Very lightly I'm going over this. This is a MAC um, It's called Spike Eyebrow Pencil. I'm not the greatest when it comes to drawing on my eyebrows, but I have gotten a lot better. Thank goodness. And I don't know, for some reason, this eyebrow pencil, it is real, uh, it keep breaking off. I don't like that. You spend all this money for these eyebrow pencil. I'm like, why is it breaking off? You have to be kidding me. I know this ain't the end of this eyebrow pencil and I just bought it. Well, I'll be down. I think this is the end of this. I just bought it last Saturday. Oh, I'm pissed. There's nothing coming up out of here. I can't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. I got a 
another eyebrow pencil in here, but I cannot believe that's gone that quick. Brand new eyebrow pencil. And that's the end of it. You have to be kidding me. Mac, you owe me a pencil. For real, for real. Ain't nothing coming up out of there. Let me use this one. Might as well go to a local um a local uh what do you call it um uh, drugstore and buy a pencil if that's the case. I can't believe that. I'm gonna call them. Cause I noticed that it kept breaking off. You know, like every time I would use it, the pencil part would break. I think I still have my receipt cause I'm sure I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back Sunday, tomorrow. I don't even like the way these eyebrows look. Just bought this. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it back. They're going to give me a new one. So anyway, I hope you all had a good Friday. Um... And I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. <sighs> I hate when you spend your money on stuff. Especially as much as these products cost. Oh, Lord. Y'all hear that? That's my cat. Not my cat, cat, my cat, cat. I know y'all like, girl, you so silly. Honey. Put me base over my eye. So it's a steady trying to get me to take these kittens. I don't know if I want to take these kittens. What y'all think? Y'all think I should get another cat? There's actually two of them. Two little kittens. Oh no, y'all. Just don't know. I want more cats. my sister on here with my mother. I ain't taking no more cats. And they are really cute. But I would have to get them, get the shots. I would have to do all of that. I don't have no money for that. Although I do miss my cat. I miss, she was a comfort cat. Really 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 do miss chocolate so much because she was the one who would cuddle with me these other two they don't like to really cuddle my 
My girlfriend was like, you don't need no more cats. I'm like, girl, don't tell me what I need. If I want them, I'll go get them. This is a concealer that I use to art to um outline my um my brows and I just put it on my hand and then I take this little brush that looks like a little paintbrush and I just dip it in here ever so lightly, dip it around on my hand like so, and then go back in and arch that outline the eyebrows. And you don't want to put the concealer in the eyebrow. You just want to go above it. See? See that? Just want to go above it. And it doesn't matter how much concealer you use because you can always take um, base concealer and pat it on your eyebrows, on your eyelids, like so, so that you don't have, so that your eye shadow eyeliner liquid eyeliner or whatever kind of eyeliner you use it's not going to move and be crawling all up your eyelid that's the purpose of putting on the base and i just put it all over because it don't matter because i'm gonna rub this in anyway because it's going to be part of my makeup. My mother told me, I'll help you with the cats. Oh, my girl. I'll help you get their shots. I just don't know if I want to do it. You know what I mean? I just don't. I just don't know if I want to do it. Now, I'm going to take the rest of this base since I have so much of it. And I don't want to waste it. I'm going to put it up under the eye. Where these dark spots are. Brush off. Yeah, I think that was a defected eyebrow pencil. I really do. Now we're going to put, we're going to take this concealer. You can use a makeup brush. You can use, um, you can use, you know, one of these brushes. It don't matter because, like I said, concealer is concealer. And you can never have on too much concealer. 
because concealer is what it does. It conceals all of the dark spots, the um, raccoon eyes, all of that. So we've out, we've arched, I mean, we've outlined, carved out the eyebrows so they are um, straight. I messed this one up. Let's see. Go back in here. Sometimes you have to go back and fill them back in because sometimes putting on, when you get ready to smooth the base out, sometimes it will, um, you can wipe the eyebrow away. We don't want to do that. Not a lot of light in here. It's not that bright. So you see, I just put it's it's okay because it's gonna all it's gonna all rub in. You know, I just thought about something. I feel really bad. My um my cousin was here from um uh, Atlanta and uh she inboxed me saying she was gonna be here for two days. And she was in Schaumburg. Y'all, I did not get back to her. I forgot. I forgot. I like this. I like this makeup off of my hairline. Okay, put this in the garbage. And now, I'll pick this out. And now we're going to put on some eyelashes. Some eyelashes before we put the eyelashes on. We're going to use a MAC Glide or Die Gel Eyeliner Pencil. Okay? Now, this I know still has something on it. I can't see. Let me look in this mirror. Hold on. The only thing about doing these makeup tutorials is it's hard sometimes when you're using the camera because I can't see. It's hot in here too. Hold on, let me go get my fan. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. I'm starting to sweat. Hold on, I'm looking this mirror. day in Chicago. I gotta wait till I stop sweating because I'm having a serious, serious hot flash. Woo-wee! 
y'all see the sweat? Ooh, it's hot in here. And I got a long sleeve. I might go take this dress off because I'm hot. Man, ain't doing it. Lately, I've been having more um, high flashes. I don't know why. I'm trying to stop sweating. Gotta look at this here. Hold on. I'm still here. <laughs> and y'all like, where the hell did she go? I'm right here. Just trying to get cool. I've never worn this dress that I have on. You all have seen me haul it. I've never worn it and I want to wear it. So I ain't never had it on. Ain't that something? I am still hot. And this ring light don't help. So one thing I do want to talk to you all about that I do want to touch on, um, I don't know if I talked to you all about this before or not. I might have, I may have, but um, if you are my age, in your 50s, if you have, you know, lived life, you've been married, been in a serious relationship at one point in time in your life. And if you are dealing with someone who at this age, 54, 55, 60, and you all are sexually active, right? You sexually active with this person. But let's just say this person is telling you they not ready for no relationship, right? They don't want no relationship. They just 
you know, want to have you as their friend and they want to, you know, get down Charlie Brown, you know, um, you know, when they, when they, when they see you. Okay, that's fine. That's what y'all agreed on, right? Now, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again on this platform. I want a relationship. I do. Uh, but I also have come to realize that I may not get one. I may not ever have a... I've always wanted a meaningful relationship with a man. Um, but I also have come to realize that even at this age I messed this up even at this age that may not happen I mean that's just the realistic part of it because I've said this before and I'm going to say it again and I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to say it again. Men my age are not looking for relationship. You may find that to be weird. You may find that to be strange. You may find that to, you may be sitting back going, what? Why? I can't answer that. I can't answer that. I don't know. But what I do know is because men don't want a relationship with us and because men have made it clear Because they have made it clear to us but that's not what they want I, I have a hard time believing that it's just me or that it's just you I have a hard time believing that because I don't believe that I believe that men have decided that to save their heart from trauma as well because maybe they've been hurt as well that they've decided that you know they're not going to have that with anybody and because that is the case or may be the case with some men I don't understand it but I do understand it because I'm at that point now I don't want a relationship with somebody and the reason why I don't want a relationship is not because I don't desire it I don't want a relationship because I don't want my heart broke I don't want to go through unnecessary bullshit I don't want to go through unnecessary drama
I don't want to go through unnecessary drama. I don't want to go through unnecessary bullshit with a man just to say I have a man. I don't want to be cheated on. I don't want to be lied to. I don't want to be deceived. I don't want to argue. I don't want any of that. And it seems to be that when you have that with men, when you seems to be that when you having some type of relationship with them, this is what you get. And I don't want it. I know, I know more about hurt and pain and devastation than I do about being loved completely. I don't know, I don't know about happiness with a man. I don't know, um, I don't know about being with somebody who make you happy and bring joy to your life. I don't know about that. I don't know what that feels like. But having said that. If I'm going to deal with a man in any capacity. Now, hear me out. If I know that I'm sleeping with you on a regular. And I see you on a regular. And you are telling me or you are showing me that it's another woman involved. Other than myself. I cannot. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I will not deal with that. I'd rather be by myself. Yeah, I got those lashes on. You can you should always put your lashes on the actual eyelashes, your actual eyelashes, and just push in. Oh shit. Okay, that was real dumb. And sometimes you just got to leave them alone. I don't know why I went back and messed with it. Now I got all this glue everywhere. Oh, that was stupid. See, I got the glue up under the eye.
I should have just left it alone, right? But it don't seem like it's on there. Okay, now I think it's on there. It's always one that give you the flux. It's almost like I forgot how to put them on, which I haven't. If I was not on camera, I wouldn't be messing up like this. But because I'm on camera, I'm messing up. That's the way it is. We just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. So now this is the Julia's Place base makeup. It's not much on the sponge because I told you all it's real thick. So as I was saying, I was trying to concentrate on those eyelashes. Um, if I meet somebody in this day and age with so much going on, you know, it would be nice to have a relationship, right? It would, it really would. But the fact of the matter is, is that, the fact of the matter is, is that it's really, really hard to find somebody who wants what you want, even at 54. And I hear women all the time say, oh, you just not meeting the right guy. Well, you know what? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as he or she is the right person. I don't even believe that anymore. Oh, you just haven't met the right one. You don't you you picking the wrong ones. What does that mean? None of that means anything. And let me tell you why it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything because when people don't want something or don't desire it, or are not trying to have it. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what I do. And this goes for men too. They always say, oh, he'll do it for the right one. He'll do it for the right one. No, he won't. No, he won't. No, he won't. Let me tell you why he won't do it for the right one. He won't do it for the right one because you are the right one. And he still, he still is going to fuck around on you and you are the right one. Let 
Now, men, don't get offended, okay? Don't get offended. I'm just saying, I'm a woman, and I'm just talking on a woman's term. I'm just talking from a woman's perspective, okay? So, don't get on here all in your, your feelings. Don't get on here... You know, oh, you male bashing, you male bashing. No, I'm not male bashing. I'm just saying that women need to get out of their head with thinking that they're doing something wrong, that if they did something wrong to cause a man not to want to, um, for, to uh, that they caused a man to not want to commit, that they caused a man to not want to Choose them. You haven't done anything wrong. Nothing. It don't matter what you did or what you was going to do for him or to him. He was never going to be what you wanted him to be. He was never going to act how you wanted him to act. He was never going to commit to you. He was never going to be the man that you wanted him to be. And it's the same way with the fellas. She was never going to be who you wanted her to be. You know why? Because that's not what she wanted. That's not what he wanted. Because see, you're already good. You're already special. You're already wonderful. You already all that. So it's not up to you to try to convince motherfuckers to show to see who you are. It's not up to you to keep trying to convince people to see the good in you. It's not up to you to keep trying to convince somebody that you are worthy of love. Because let me tell you what I know. What I know is that people see you for who you are, for exactly who you are, and that people know who you are, and people know what you are. What I know is that people already know how wonderful, how beautiful, how special, how great, how amazing you are. They already know that. But if you are not, if they are not ready, they're not going to commit to you. I don't care what you do. I don't care if you give them 5, 10, 15 houses. If they don't want to be in a relationship with you, they will not be. I'm just rubbing that in, patting it in, brother. So if you're doing things... 
to get a man or a woman. To like you based off of what you're doing or what you're given. You're wasting your time. Because they're not going to do it. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. I'm using the banana cream setting powder. Just going to pour a little bit. Put that in here. Just put it in a little cup like this. Pour some of this. So you're wasting your time with someone that you're trying to make like you or feel for you what you feel for them. It doesn't matter. So, I'm going to say this again, and I'm particularly talking to the ladies. Stop investing your money into these men. Some of you women are giving men money. You're giving, you're, you're, you're paying for, for them. You're paying for them to spend time with you. You're paying for them to sleep with you. You're paying it don't matter what you do. It don't matter. Because if you're not who he, if, if he's not, if you are not who he want, or if that's not what he want to do, and he not ready to do, what it is you want him to do, the way in which you want him to do it, what are you doing? So you invest in time, you invest in money, you invest in, invest in, invest in, because you like him. You want him, you want him to act like this. You want him to be like this. You want him to say, you his woman, you his queen. So you giving money to him? You're buying him? You're doing things? Because you, you think that the more you do, the more you give, that'll make him stick around? It won't. It won't. It won't. Man, if you think buying her, is going to make her stick around and say that she want to be your woman, be your woman. It won't. It won't.
And it's, it's, it's sad because we are good people. It's sad because we don't have to do, do all of that to get a person to see our worth. We can just be who we are. But we feel that if we do the extra, they'll want us even the more. And they don't. Hold on, I'm going to go throw this in the garbage. I'll be right back. I'm back. So it doesn't make them want you more because you're doing this or you're doing that or you're showing, you know, them how great you are. They know. They already know. But they have still decided that They have still decided that you are not where they want to be. And I know it hurts. I know it does. And you know I know, because I've been through this. 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 I have been through this. Time. And time. Again. So I know. And because I know, because I know, and because I've been through this so many times with so many, in so many situations, liking men, loving men, being there for men, you know, putting my all into them. Because I have. Because I have.
I have decided not to anymore. I have decided to keep men as friends. I have decided to love on Cece. I have decided to do everything that I want to do for me. And this is why I bought my house. I bought the home that I wanted. This is why I stay on the job that I have. This is why I'm on social media, doing what I like to do, whatever that may be, whether it's OnlyFans, YouTube, uh, Facebook, whatever it is. Whatever it is, whatever makes Cece happy is what Cece does. I don't wait on anybody to validate me. I don't wait on anybody to love on me. I don't wait on nobody to tell me how beautiful I am, how wonderful I am, how spectacular I am. I look in the mirror and I say, you are the baddest bitch in the world because you belong to you. You the baddest bitch in the world because you belong to you. Hmm. I don't wait on nobody to tell me about how worth how how about my worth. I don't wait on nobody to tell me how spectacular all of this beauty is. I do it for my damn self. I do it for my damn self. And I do it for my damn self because I know. Because I know. I do it for my damn self because I know. I know. I know. I know who I am. And I'm not waiting on nobody else ever again to justify who I am. I know what type of woman I am. I know the way that I love. I know the way that I move. I know the way that I groove. I know the way that I get down. So I'm not going to let nobody else come along who does not appreciate the beauty in me and the wonderfulness in me to deter me from not loving on me. You got to love you before you love anybody else. And if you don't love you, can't nobody else love you. I'll be right back. highlight my makeup but I can't find it but Starting to sweat again. Whew. I don't know why I'm so hot all of a sudden. 
my mother was saying that to me yesterday. She said, your hot slashes are starting to get bad again. I was like, I know. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? You know, sometimes we get into this thing with ourselves. We have a, we have a, uh, a, a, a war with ourselves. All right, we have a war with ourselves. And we constantly say stuff like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I meet the, the right person? Why haven't I found the love of my life? Why are they treating me this way? What's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? Why is it that other women are getting, you know, chosen or men, but I'm not getting in, I'm not, or, you know, men saying, you know, I can't find, I, I think it's different for men. I think men can always get a woman because there's so many women out here, right? But I just want to say to the ladies that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. And I'm going to tell you why it's nothing wrong with you, sis. Let me tell you why it's nothing wrong with you. Because think about all the things that you've done that have been good for a man. And he still... He still took you for granted. He still devastated you. He still drug, He still dogged you. He still dog walked you. He still drug you. He still embarrassed you. Think about it. Think about it. Because I'm no better than you. And you're no better than me. We're not in competition. Amen, somebody. We're not in competition. But these men out here will have us thinking that we got to fight for them. We got to fight each other for them. Girl, I ain't doing that because I love you. Girl, I'm not doing that because I love you, sis. Girl, I'm not doing that because, sis, he ain't worth it, but you are. I'm never going to fight you over a man. I'm never going to drag you or pull your weave out or pull your eyelashes off your ass to fight you over a worm. Because if I have to be in a position where I have to compete with you, if I have to be in the position that I have to fight with you, if I have to pull your hair out, pull your eyelashes off, call you a bitch, disrespect you over a nothing ass, worm ass motherfucker, what does that say about me and about how I feel about myself that I'm accepting this piece of trash? I don't give a fuck if you are married to him. I don't give a fuck if he's been your husband for 55 years. Know your worth. Know your worth. Stop listening to all this bullshit out here. Well, you know if you were this kind of woman, if you dressed like this, if you dropped it like it was hot, if you twerked a little bit, if you shook your ass a little bit, if you did, fuck that bullshit. That's some bullshit. You can bend it over. You can make it clap. And the motherfucker still gonna cheat on your ass at the end of the motherfucking day. It don't matter what you do for these sorry motherfuckers. It don't matter. So save your
yourself some goddamn energy and money and put that motherfucking money into a house. Put that motherfucking money into a business. Put that motherfucking money on your kids. Take that motherfucking money and go on a trip. Take that motherfucking money and do it for you. Because it don't matter what you do. He's still going to fuck around on you. You can have, you, as my friend said, you can check, have all the boxes checked of what he like about you. He still, he still going to fuck around on you. So stop listening to the bullshit about, oh, you got to be this kind of woman and you got to be that kind of woman and you got to get in position and you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to give it to him like this and you got to give it to him like that. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm going to say it again. It's bullshit. Because they will still fuck around on you. And they don't give a fuck about how you feel. They sorry that they got caught. Not that you found out about it. They're not sorry that they hurt you. They're not. So there ain't nothing wrong with you. It ain't nothing wrong with you. You can do it like this. You can do it like that. You can put a little bit more butter and jelly on the bread. You can fix this plate. You can cook him the best meal. He gonna fuck around. He gonna fuck around. I'm gonna say it again. He gonna fuck around. So save all of that that you're doing. And just be you. Just do you. Just show up as that woman who you are. Stop all the extra. Extra don't get you nothing. But get you mad at the end because you know all the shit you done for this sorry worm of a motherfucker. That's all I got, y'all. I'm going to head out and hang out with my girls. And I hope you have a fabulous, wonderful, wonderful, exciting weekend. And I'll see you back on here tomorrow. All right, y'all. Toodles.